Hello everyone, Joshua with Texas Games bringing you all another Arc Legends video. Now it's been a hot minute since we did our last update on Arc Legends. I did not forget this game existed. Trust me guys, I've been keeping up to date as best I can. We got our boy Sensation in the Discord, always letting me know when there's news on this game. So this game has been through various beta tests. I was a part of the last one I played for about a month. I did enjoy it for the most part. It definitely was an unfinished product. It needed a lot more work and they wanted to go ahead and release global this month and i was a bit worried about that because i felt the game definitely needed a lot more polish it needed a lot more done and i'm glad that they're actually taking that time to do so because we got a new update a whole new beta started earlier today now these betas are being wiped so keep that in mind there is no cash shop or anything like that available as well but that's good. So you're basically going to be going in, testing the game, and having a lot of fun. They added some new characters. They updated a lot of the artwork. They even updated some of the character skill sets. They've done a lot of great things since the last time we played. And that's why we're doing a, you know, basically another, a redo of our past first impression with a new one. Now, there is still some things that needs to be worked on. Trust me, and we will go over some of those things in today's video. I'll give you my overall grade at the end, as I always do, out of 10. Let me know what your grade is on today's video in the comment section below. Again, this is Arc Legends. I will have the link for the Play Store in the description below. I'm not sure if it's available in every region or not. I cannot confirm nor deny that at the moment. However, if you are able to jump in and play, I definitely say go ahead and give it a shot because they've definitely done a lot of great things since last time. So this is very, very good, and I'm glad that they did delay the global release because now the game is going to be more of a finished product at that time, and that's what a lot of developers need to really focus on these days is to not rush the release. Get it done, um, you know, over the course of a lot of testing, get as much bugs as possible ironed out, get as much content prepared as well because you want to make sure you can keep your players, of course, coming back for more. So now this game has a little bit of a, of a blend of being able to kind of walk around in a 3D environment. Now, this is not an open world game, ladies and gentlemen, at all. It is very restricted in, you know, village or town to town, if you will, depending on where you're at in story. But it is cool that they do make it a bit interactive. I personally thought that it would have been in their best interest because this is more of a smaller studio. Uh, I believe their name is Melting Games. I could be wrong on that. But I feel like they should have maybe saved some of the budget instead of doing all of this. Maybe make the story just instance based and, you know, put more money into the gameplay. Because then you could always add stuff like this later on. Or maybe they can make, you know, like a sequel to the game later down the road, like a few years down the road, which is more open worldy, you know, RPG like this. But they went ahead and decided since the last update to this one to go ahead and expand on the 3D world they already created. So... Hey, they're sticking to their guns. They know what they want better than we do, obviously. And uh, I can't say I'm, I'm upset about it because, you know, again, I personally would have saved the budget on doing this and put it into other areas of the game. But I will commend them. Whoever's doing the 3D art and, uh, you know, the modeling for the game is definitely putting in the work because the, the environment actually looks pretty good, especially compared to the last time. The textures are definitely greatly improved. I'm even liking... Um, some of the new ui as well if you actually look we got some new ui here we have our outside our airship our city is now in this like little circular ui pattern in the bottom right which is very nice just tucked away there not taking up too much space and a lot of you if you've been watching the channel for a while you know how i feel about on screen joystick joypad controls i'm not a big fan but at least with key mapping and like, you know, things like blue stacks and LD player knocks, it's not as bad. And the fact that it's not part of the actual combat and gameplay makes it a lot more reasonable for me because you do not use the joypad or joystick at all in the actual combat of the game. I've also heard great things about PvP being improved. They've also added a lot new rewards since then. They've changed again some of the other UI, as I've said. Let's go in and talk about some of the things that they've added. Uh, that you have not seen yet besides just you know of course increasing the size of the world itself so if we go in um let's go to the i guess we we'll go to the airship first now the airship is going to be where the gotcha is really taking effect in this game and if you guys see any kind of weird glitching on the screen that is not the game itself it's obs is fighting me right now to record on my blue stacks i gotta change some settings so if you guys do see any flickering it's not the game it's blue stacks and obs giving me 
some problems, you know, some technical difficulties. So bear with me. So this is a new thing that they added, which is freaking fantastic. I wish a lot of games would do this. Set sail at dawn. Select hero guaranteed with 100 summons. Choose a target hero. So, of course, you can see my, you know, chosen target hero is Luana. You can change this at any time as long as you do it before you hit the actual pity of 100. Uh, we have not done any. As you can see, uh, we have no, uh, we have no uh, scrolls or tickets, if you will, to do those yet. But when you start doing your summons for this, you can choose whatever hero you want. You know, and just go down here and click OK. When I hit my 100 pity, that's the S hero that I want. So I like that. You can basically choose which pity hero you want. I love that. They also have some permanent banners as well. You can see here, this is the permanent uh, general pull banner, which you're going to be doing a lot of summons in here because you're going to get a lot of rewards from a lot of different content. And again, they're going to give you those blue tickets. Um, you get them from story mode quite a lot as well. You get like you get four per story chapter cleared plus some of the other achievements and stuff like that so again this is your general pull banner it has uh, a pity of 80 so unlike this one that's 100 this is 100 because you actually get to select which target you want guaranteed this one's going to be random among whatever units are available in the banner you go down to details and you can kind of see all the different available units blah 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 the rates and all that other good stuff so, uh, and then you got the light and dark permanent banner, which is nice as well if you're trying to chase some of those, you know, light and dark units. Kind of similar to like what they do in Epic 7 with their light and dark, their, you know, their moonlight heroes, which is very, very cool. So they added that. I like that little added addition. Um, I think everything else here in the airship is pretty much the same as it was before, more or less. Uh, obviously, we have, you know, the logins have been changed slightly, the UI for that. We got some nice things going on right now at this seven day event uh we have this union bounty going on right now for a couple weeks which is really nice got some really good rewards in here especially a, a lot of summoning tickets like there's a lot in here which is awesome more summons the better i mean hey it's a gotcha game and when you play gotcha you want to summon and as a free to play that's very important right you want to be able to increase your team make it better more diverse have more options so that's great um we also have this sheriff test going on right now for 14 days which is also giving us various rewards which is also cool you get a free as hero from that you're going to go ahead and get a free nora i've used her in the last beta test i have to look to see if they made any changes if you guys and gals want to see some hero uh you know reviews where i kind of deep dive into some of these units uh let me know and we can make, maybe make some more videos on this game if you'd like during uh this course of this beta before, of course, the inevitable release for Global sometime down the road. I'm not sure. Don't ask me. I don't have a confirmation. Could be April. Could be May. Could be later. I don't know. And we are, of course, in a transition period waiting for some of the bigger games to come out here on the channel. So we're definitely trying to get as much content as we can in the meantime. So there's all that. We've got a newcomer uh, rewards going on right now. This kind of replaced the old one which wasn't very retroactive it was kind of a mess it forced you to do a lot of summons when you didn't want to necessarily and if you summon too early and you try to do it later on you couldn't clear some of the areas and you just got stuck so i am glad that they changed it up looks like it goes up to phase 10. so lots of good rewards here uh throughout so very very nice uh we also have the gallery uh which has hero gear and accessories now which is very cool we go to like accessories for example let's just scroll this over there we go uh it doesn't look like we can look at accessories yet all right let's look at the gear real quick now this is new now unfortunately they still have 32 sets of gear i would love for them uh, i even said this in the last beta i would love for them to cut this down to 16. but if you love games that give you a lot of variety for types of gear you want to build this game has you covered and when i say there's 32 sets of gear I'm not exaggerating. Check this out. There is a ton of gear sets. I am not joking. I believe there was 32 when I counted. I could have miscounted, but I'm pretty sure there's 32. And it tells you how much you need for the set. Like these need four. Um, see here if we can find a two-piece set somewhere. I'm sure we have. Oh, yeah, right here. Like resistance is a two-piece set. Critical resistance is a two-piece set. Critical damage accuracy critical hit uh life offense and defense which is basically you know attack 
So you can kind of stack those up three times because you can have, of course, six pieces of gear. Uh, you can even look over here. It'll tell you what you get. 15% attack there. It tells you where you can get them from. Uh, you can see over here. Let's look at one that's not too common. Like Smash, for example. Smash gives you a four-piece set. Increases area damage dealt by active skills by 15%. Fate, for example. Um, when using an active skill for the first time, inflicts attack down on one or two enemy heroes. Last 20 seconds. Got some cool stuff there. And this game is a um, skill cooldown with shared mana for the combat, which if you're not familiar with this game, I will show you some gameplay here in a moment. Don't worry. This is the new and improved hero gallery, which looks very clean. I love what they've done with it. It's very slick. Um, you also get rewards for um, unlocking new heroes. I believe an S hero gives you 100 gems, uh, which is almost a multi, I'm sorry, almost a multi, almost a single summon. A single summon is 150 gems if you buy it from the shop. Um, and you get 100 gems for pulling an S hero. So basically just pulling a new S hero, you're almost getting another single. Which is a little bit higher than some of the other games we've played recently, like Ace, like Awaken Chaos Era. I believe you only get 50 for the highest grade legendary heroes. And that's only one third of a single summon. So... So there you go. A little differences there. So this one's a little bit more rewarding for the free to plays in terms of stuff like that. You can separate these, of course, filter these out. Look at some of these cool heroes. I'll show you one of the newer heroes that's been introduced. Uh, and you, you actually get this hero for free as well. We own the hero. Where is she at? There she is. So Morpho, you get this hero for free. Uh, which is very very cool the unit we used to get in the last beta for free now I don't know if global release are going to change this up but uh, The last time I played beta we got a Nanya for free But now they give you the morpho or the yeah the morpho so Yeah, they, they definitely changed it up. I don't know if they're gonna you know Do the same thing for global or if they're gonna give it so like a maybe a selection or it's random. I don't know but this is a cool looking character, and I'm sure a lot of you um, are looking at the assets and thinking, dang. <laughs> so there you guys and gals go. Pretty cool stuff there. Um, you know, and of course, with some of those changes, they've, of course, increased the rewards you get. Now, they have taken the uh, gems from Tower and lowered those by 50% from what I'm hearing, but they kept all the summoning tickets in there and they added all these other various rewards and summons on top of that. So it kind of balances out and maybe even is a bit more rewarding than it was previously. So that's good that they're making strides to make sure that the free to plays have enough resources going into the game. The game's stamina, there are ways to kind of manipulate your stamina as well. The game, I'm not gonna say is super free to play in stamina, it's kind of normal when it comes to a gotcha, I'll say that. But if you do play enough and you save up enough and you use your resources carefully, you can make your stamina go a long way in this game because trust me, I got pretty dang far when I played the last beta and I'm seeing some significant improvements from then to now. So I'm sure your stamina will be even more efficient than it was previously, even when I thought it was decent back then, it's probably even better now. I just want to kind of throw that out there. Gold might be one of your biggest issues. You will run out of gold quite often later on, but at least there's a lot of different content to kind of get through that. Now, when I mentioned earlier to buy your summons, you can buy that from the grocery. Now, the grocery has a supply shop and a dismiss shop. The uh, dismiss shop is where you basically take all your rare heroes and you just sack them off. Like you just get rid of them. You don't need them. And you can do that from over here at the trans Morgafire. <laughs> That's a weird name. They, I don't know. You can also recall heroes as well and get rewards for that thing. They give you up to three free uh, resets and then you got to start using your gems, but it's not very expensive. It's one of the better, I would say, recall systems and gotchas right now. They did a very good job with that. So I will give them a thumbs up there. You know, not much difference from the last beta, but it was great then and it's great now. But this is basically what I mean by the dismiss. You can basically dismiss all these blue units. Trust me, you're not going to use them. Their stats are so low. And their skill sets aren't that great. They're just not useful for anything except for basically getting them to dismiss them, to get these soul crystals. You can get better soul crystals by getting rid of your purples and your oranges, which of course is your S heroes, your A heroes. But I don't recommend doing that until you have those units kind of where you need them to be. Um, or if you're just not going to use them ever. But we'll get into that maybe in other videos. 
because there are some really cool things you can do with that to kind of manipulate your stamina as we mentioned earlier so if you go back to the uh, the, uh, the dismiss shop you can see we have 80 of those crystals now so if we go down here you can see that we have some various things that we can purchase we can purchase a copy of gungnir or Bo or charlie these do rotate out in and out same with these ones up here and these characters up here these do rotate in and out but that's very cool at least i believe they did they did last beta unless they changed it but i'm pretty sure they're going to rotate out you can buy potions you can buy exchange crystals so you can start buying higher tier stuff and then you can buy the divine crystals and buy even higher tier stuff i know you know work your way up if you will if you're free to play and you play long enough you'll be able to get a lot of stuff from here for free which is great uh these vegetable uh skewers are basically stamina you can purchase these ones up here like the kebab they give you a ton of stamina so cool stuff there from the shop and oh yeah before we get out of the shop you can see here the price for a rare iron core is 150 you can get a normal iron core for 150 and there is a difference there's iron core and rare iron core and i'll show you what the difference is we go back to the actual banner itself you can see right here um we have the normal iron core and then the rare iron core okay so that is the difference you can see the rare or purple that's for the drop you know these are for the rate up banners that they're gonna kind of bring in and out every couple weeks they are on a two-week rotation right now you can get zinnia morpho and hanania but since you already get morpho for free you could potentially go in here and try and get a dupe of her if you'd like to try and you know rank her up or you can just go into the normal banner and just try to pull something else these are going to be more specialized banners that you're not going to go into as often as they should be because these are very powerful banners especially this one here where you literally can just choose which hero you want when you hit 100 which is very nice so that's pretty much the summoning mechanics that's all the other stuff um for the most part not too much of that has changed but uh, let's go into heroes real quick before we go into the actual gameplay to kind of finish this off. So you can see they're still doing the nice animations. I love when characters in the actual character panel have animations. I don't care if they're 2D artworks or 3D artwork. I want to see the characters coming alive. I want to see animations. So I love that we're seeing that here. Very cool stuff. You can see that I pulled Rain already and I pulled Morpho. If you guys want to see, you know, half a dozen summons... Half a dozen multis, rather. I believe that's how much I've saved up. Let me know by hitting that like button and commenting below if you guys want to see some summons. We'll make that our next video if you'd like. Um, you can see we have some of these other random characters as well. So rain, we can cultivate, which is basically just level them up using our potions. You just click and hold. Nice quality of life right there. And now that she is level 30, uh, we can also rank her up by getting her additional, like the crystals and stuff like that, the materials from Story. To give her additional stats and increase her level cap you could star them up by getting dupes which also gives you additional um stat increases now you will need more dupes the further you get i believe like for an s hero if you get one dupe it'll take them up to one red star but if you want to get up to a two red star you're going to need another two dupes and then you're going to need more and more and more they just stack but they do give you a lot of means to summon in this game and a lot of ways to get s heroes so it is very good not every S hero needs to be fully maxed out to be useful. Some of them have really good kits just at base 5 star. So keep that in mind. You can train them up as well, which you're going to do this from the various dungeons, uh, which is very, very cool. You can even, you know, take the lower materials, upgrade them to higher materials if you need to, especially if you're struggling in some of the higher stages of some of these dungeons. And there's a lot of content in this game, ladies and gentlemen. If you need a game with a lot of content already, and it's only in beta, it's not even released yet, this game definitely has you covered. It has a ton, and I mean a ton, of content. I'll show you a little glimpse of what I mean here in a second. So if you didn't watch my last first impression in the last beta, we actually go here to the outside. Gotta wait for it to load here. So, <clears throat> making me go through the tutorial. You have the Forbidden, you have the Lost Sector. Um, you, so basically you have a gold dungeon an exp dungeon you have all your 32 gears worth of dungeons there's not 32 gear dungeons ladies and gentlemen a lot of those dungeons kind of have multiple sets of gear in each one but there's still quite a bit of different types of dungeons you got to do in this game there's also a tower that you gotta climb which is insane um <laughs> you got your materials 
for your characters that you gotta farm up from the they're from the character from the uh, character class dungeons. As you can see here, this is the gold dungeon, and this is the XP dungeon. Let's go to the gold dungeon real quick. We'll go to the first one. You can see all the various stages you can do. I believe it goes up to ten. There you go. It shows you what your drops are. Um, it tells you what the enemy's battle power is. Right now, it's fifty nine, fifty two. You can look over here. And kind of see what the character can actually do and what the cooldowns are as i said this is a skill cooldown with a shared mana pull so let's go ahead and just grab our two characters just throw them there uh we'll throw our aoe there we'll throw our tank in the front right there and we'll throw our uh warrior right here who has a nice defense down and you get this character at the start of the game this character start of the game i believe him as well and her you get those four characters at the start and then after you believe i believe it's maybe you beat chapter one or so you get her for free <clears throat> for free from your first summon so you get five you get a whole free team basically this was the only one that i pulled uh so anyways get into it so this will also kind of show the gameplay as well and as you can see there's two different types of camera angles you can go with you can go with the side view you know the overhead view or you can go into more traditional RPG view. So, there you go. And when you get to the boss fight, the bosses actually look pretty well done. And again, the backgrounds, the animations, everything like that was pretty decent before. But they definitely upgraded the quality of some of the, the textures. I would still like some of the textures to not be so basic. I've definitely noticed that some of the textures are pretty bland. Not as detailed as I'd like them to be. They're not cartoony, but they're kind of pushing that boundary, if you will. And I'd also like some of the actual geometry, you know, some of the actual shapes, like the rocks, the crates, the ladders, the crystals, you know, things like that. I'd like those to be a little bit more detailed as well, because especially when you get like right up on them, it's not that detailed. They're kind of low topology. What I mean by that is they didn't have that much... Um, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to I'm trying to dumb it down for a lot of you because I know a lot of you are not, are not familiar with this terminology in game design, but I forgot to click these buttons. I gotta use these skills. What am I doing? We might actually we're probably gonna lose this fight. My team's level one. I have not leveled anybody up. But you guys are at least kind of seeing how the boss fights go, what these special animations look like. They look very good and crisp. But what I mean by low topology is they're using low polys. They're not using very many polys. And what a poly is, is it's basically the geometric shape. That's being used to sculpt out a 3D model. So, you know, the lower the amount of polys you use, the lower the geology, the, the, um, the geology, the geometry is going to be. So if you want like a more of a rounded shape, you're going to need a lot of polys, which also is going to be pretty hard on your CPU and your RAM and stuff like that. So I can understand what they're trying to do from like a phone efficiency perspective. They're trying to be able to play this game on... You know more lower end phones as well i'd assume that's fine but with today's technology and the way phones are they could definitely squeeze a little bit more out of it so i definitely like to see a little bit more detail into some of that stuff i know that's a lot of work and asking for a lot to be done but i just think that the game has the potential to do so and that's more or less me nitpicking as well but that's what we do here so that is pretty much everything i believe uh we could jump right back here to the city as well which is cool you go from your airship to the outer world to the city all just like that very cool they also have a built-in just auto net you know auto path navigation where it just just walks you right to you where you want to go so you don't even need to walk around if you don't want but again before we get out of here let me just show you an example of like this the, the low polys here and i also don't like the grass they're using flat 2d textured grass i never been a fan of that as you can see if you look down straight on it it just looks horrible um, we're in 2022. We need to stop, you know, doing those old, old practices. We got to get out of that. Um, trees as well. Same thing. Trees are pretty much mostly flat all the way around. I just, I'm not a fan of those. So that's some stuff that hopefully they can clean up. But the great thing is, though, is they're already in place. All those, all those would really be is just graphical upgrades. Those can always come as long as the gameplay is fun and enjoyable. That's what's mostly important. But yeah, as you can see, it's a shared uh, mana uh, skill cooldown system. Of course, you didn't see too much there because I had it kind of running while I was babbling on and wasn't really paying attention. We're not ready for those bosses yet. we got to improve our team. But 
I hope you guys all and like, you know, kind of like today's video. You know, I know we already did a first impression of the game, but I felt like they made, you know, a significant amount of advancements since the last beta to this beta. And the fact that they are, you know, basically intentionally, purposely delaying the global launch to make the game even better. I have to commend them for that. And again, this is a smaller studio. This is not a big studio with a trip away budget. So keep that in mind. But for what they've done, the improvements they've made from one month to another, this is what I like to see. This is what I was hopeful for with Awakened Chaos Era, but we didn't get it. I like to see big strides being made without the greed getting in the way. Obviously, they're a company and they want to make money, but to make money, make me a good product. And we can uh, kind of meet in the middle there, right? So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and give this an 8 out of 10. I'm really, really, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm really liking what they've done with it. Of course, there's still a lot of room to grow. There's a lot of things that they can still do. Um, hopefully, they continue to do so. If you guys want to see more Arc Legends on the channel, you know what to do. Hit the like button, subscribe, check notifications, and I'll catch you all in the next one. As always, until then, peace.